Majak just puts it up. One for the high flyers, but there'll be a free kick. And it's going to go the way of yeah. Werribee. It's a costly mistake from the bull ant. Should allow Pedersen to kick his second goal. He walks in and puts it through. To Greenwood. Just gets the hands up in the air. Took the player on. That is good instinctive football. And then he delivered really well as well. And it's going to be Cam Pedersen. One goals before today has kicked two already so this for 64 goals in 64 games from Pedersen contact is good direction is good and everything's good for Werribee the way things have gone in this second quarter Yakovucci's also in there but it's going to be Werribee who should come up with a footy Pedersen on a lead oh well, that's a great right. juggling mark in front of Wout he's got a man over the top if he moves oh, it quickly oh. but it's going to be 50 anyway so Pedersen walks in and kick his fourth goal for Werribee. And a big punishment for the Bullants. Looking to bring it back in board. Pedersen offering the lead and taking a good mark. He did well there because he, he actually did. stumbled. Just swing the momentum back to Werribee's way. Cameron Pedersen. It's a pretty good kick. It's straight over the goal up by his hat. He likes it. The supporters like it. Carroll. Defensive edge of the centre square. There's that man to me oh, again. No. Oh, trouble. Turnover. They could be at sixes and sevens here. <laughs> Pedersen wheeling around. He's got a man in the goal square in Costello. It didn't need him. It's going to be advantage anyway, and it's going to be a goal. Sharp. Now back in board. Long kick from Greenwood. That's it's a great kick. kick. Pedersen's getting some good treatment with uh, some delivery from his midfielders in front of the home supporters. The angle shouldn't trouble him too much. Cam Pedersen comes in. He likes the work. A pretty handy afternoon. Seven goals for him. Yeah, well, I've, you know, I've had one of those myself, so it was pretty easy to... The, the way he went down to uh, diagnose that in some way, shape or form, and if Phil says it's a bit wobbly, then that's uh, it is, it's pretty lightly.